Hey, what's up, y'all? What's poppin'? What's crackin'? It's D-Boss React to this vid by All Access Media. Another Nicki video. It's uh, titled, Nicki Minaj is dragged after being a B-word to a bar. No oh, surprise there. What? What? She rude? <laughs> oh, my God. And Keith Lee fans turn on him. Oop. The tables have been turning for a bit now with Keith Lee. I remember it started when he went to the BET Awards. People started looking at him differently, and I guess the tables are continuing to turn, which is so interesting because people loved Keith Lee down, okay? They thought he was so perfect. He was so sweet, such a nice Christian man, can't do no wrong, and now I guess things are changing. Let's see what happens. Let's watch. So Nicki Minaj is dropping a deluxe album for her album, Pink Friday. Period. And Get ready, Patreon. And to know when Nicki Minaj is going to drop, you know, the cover art. So someone said, when you gonna post the cover? Nick Oof, Minaj what if what if she tried to drop around the same time as Cardi? That'd be shady, cause Cardi is rumored to drop like within the next couple months, few months, something like that. You know, like in the last quarter of the year. Um, and that'll be crazy if her and Nicki drop around the same time. How wild would that be? Oh my god! And then they taking shots at each other on each other's album. <laughs> Lit. I can't wait. I responded to them. It says, whenever I want to, when are you taking the next steps in your education, boo? Now, a lot of people did not like Nicki Minaj's response because what? they're like, hey, this fam just wanted to know, when are you going to drop the cover for the deluxe yeah, album? Now, this nasty. user did respond to Nicki Minaj and said, I didn't say nothing wrong. Plus, English is my third language. Plus, it's just a question from a friend that loves and supports you. Yeah. Plus, F Fuck you. you. <laughs> so, at this point, the fan is like, uh, I just asked the question and F you because you want to talk to me like that. So a lot of the people in the comment section started saying things like, you're so weird, they ask a simple question and you're getting mad. Someone else then says, you lazy old B word, what the F you announced it for if we wasn't getting the cover? This AI issue got F'd up in the head. Someone else then says, Papa Bear, good morning, mama. And Nikki allegedly responds says, shut the F up, Papa Bear. When will you show me a good manner? You're disrespectful. Someone else then says, it's just a fan question. If when you're about to drop the art cover, why are you acting like a kid? Someone else says, mind you, you're an artist providing a service and they are a customer with the right to question what you're being snarky for. And then this person said, whenever I want to, aka whenever Cardi and Meg make an Ooh, announcement. Oh, that's what I just say. <laughs> what did I just say? The as you guys can see, a lot of people did not like the fact that Nicki Minaj was a little smart with this fan when this fan just simply it asked, like, hey, Nicki, when are you dropping the cover art? Obviously, they're a fan. They said they're a fan. They said they support her and they love her. And now they feel different because she was smart with them. Now, you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on that. Moving on to the next topic. So, Carlista, which is Blueface mom, oh, she decided to speak on Tia Kemp, who is Rick Ross's a baby mama. Oh, you know, the one that's been going off on him all over social media. So you guys know they have a podcast called Auntie Podcast, if I'm not mistaken. And they have Black China Mom, Tokyo Tony, oh. Blue Face Mom, Carlissa, and Rick Ross, oh. Baby Mama, Tia Kemp. So they're all on a podcast together. Anyways, I guess Carlissa was asked right? something about sure, Tia. Know. And she basically said that Tia is still out here messing around with her baby daddy. Tia? Tia still messing with her baby daddy. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Tia. Cross? Ew. Tia still mess with her baby daddy. So if you still mess with your baby daddy, then you're still in love with them. Then more, more than likely you ain't ready to move on yet because you still mess with your baby daddy. I like Tia. Tia is like my sister from another mother. Like we talk so all why the time. Tia's my girl. Business. We talk Fake. about business. We talk about men. Goodbye. We talk about the show. We talk about Tokyo. No, I'm just playing. So You're not I'm playing. Not no you messy. You Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't being messy. You Rick Ross baby mama. Nah, he my baby daddy. I made a baby with him. I that it bust one in him. Got me a G that um dipped. You know what I'm saying? And now a child in college doing well playing college football. Why? What's up, bro? Who you? Huh? What? <laughs> I, 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 that's that's my baby daddy. I ain't his baby mama. That's my baby daddy. What? Huh? Alright then. Get it right, man. Go over there and ask that fat, bad, bad, big nigga. It's who oh, I am. Go ask. Okay, him. I got I got something. Like he's something. Don't come over asking them dumb questions. Where planet you from, man? Huh? Huh? I'm his mama too. I ain't just that. I'm his mama too. You didn't know that? And I did so many things his mama ain't never did for him. Ooh. I'm his mama too. How you still sleeping with this man and talking like this and calling him Big Bag, but you laying down with that Big Bag? Unless Tia, not Tia, Blueface Mom, whatever her name is, unless she lying. I gotta teach him stuff. 
She didn't teach if she had two, three jobs. You didn't know that. Oh. He'll tell you that. He'll tell you that. Play with me, boy. And make sure them niggas over there giving them this medicine on time, man. Go back up on the camera. You. Did you hear me? You make sure y'all giving him his medicine on time. Twice a day. Dusty. Well, guys, moving on to the next topic. Okay. You guys know the very popular food critic, Keith Lee. He has done some controversy again, I guess I could say. You guys remember the whole BET Award situation. Yeah. So this time, Keith Lee is in the D.C. area. And I guess he went to a lot of bad restaurants and he didn't mm. want to review them and put them on TikTok because you guys know he has his own thing called the Keith Lee effect. Like if you have a good business and he review your business good and stuff like that, a lot of people will start coming to the people restaurant. Now, if he give you a bad review, you're not going to get any business. But you guys know, like I said, he has the Keith Lee effect. If you treat him right and the food is good, you have nice customer service, he will give you a good review and baby, you will get some business. The Keith Lee effect is in order. Again, this is on March 16, 2024. Well, anyways, this is what Keith Lee had to say about his time in D.C. while he was trying to review some restaurants. Me and my family are still at the DMV, and there's a few things I want to talk about, so let's talk about it. I know we only posted about three spots from Washington, but we went to about 12, and we made a decision as a family and as a team, and also a personal decision to not post most of them. So out of those 12, I probably only got like one or two more that I'm gonna post. And the reason for that, a lot of those videos, in my opinion, aren't constructive at all. And before the narrative start, I'm gonna show a few clips of the places that we did go to. And again, I don't think they're constructive. So for privacy at a restaurant that we went to, I'm not gonna say what restaurant it is. I'm gonna just show you a little bit of our personal experience. It's the white with the sweet potatoes and mac and cheese. Fortunately. Keith, people could tell by looking at the food, especially if they go there a lot and they see the plates and stuff. You see how it's, it's put together, you can you can conclude <laughs> where you went. Cause I there's some places that I that I go to quite a bit. And if you show me a plate that they food, I'ma know exactly <laughs> what restaurant it is. So I wonder is that what the back lodge is over. I won't be trying any of it. As always, I ain't trying to be rude, I'm just to be honest. The smell of this insane. This perforated the whole car immediately. It so much so that my family went back in and asked if they fried it in the same grease that they did the shellfish. And come to find out, they do. And it smells like it. It smells like shellfish. It smells like frozen fish. It smells like fish. That's kind of common. It smells right? almost unedible, in my opinion. Oh. I'm doing smoke. Mm -mm. <laughs> the entire customer service experience, in my opinion, and in my family's opinion, was completely unprofessional. It said on the IG that they opened at 1 o'clock. The truck didn't open up until 2.15. It took about 45 minutes. When they went back to eat the food, they saw her preparing it. No gloves. No washing hands, grabbing money, grabbing strawberries, grabbing fruity pebbles, and putting it on top of our food. Mm. That's good. Uh, I'm chicken tender beer. Mm -mm. The reason there's no food in my hand is because a lot of the restaurants we've been recommended since we've been here look like this. Ooh. Ooh. Since we've been here, look like this. Okay, y'all going to hell. What is this slob? This just looks like y'all didn't even try. <laughs> you just sprinkled some random. Yeah, this don't look appetizing whatsoever. That I might try the last one. And I'm not even, I don't really care how food looks, to be honest. I care about how it tastes, but that just looked like it's not even the most edible, to be honest. And it just looked like it wouldn't even be good. And I'm not the target audience, just based on the pictures. You put her hands. She was put her hands. She was put her hands. We just out here eating food, praying, and staying with our families, mind our business. We also went to a lot of places that were recommended. That's one thing that I really want to make clear in this video is that we went to places that were recommended and we did a lot of research. We've been here for a week and every day since we've been here, we've been in the sprinter for at least 10 hours a day, just going around trying food, driving an hour to each spot. And since mm -hmm. we've been here, we've been blessed enough to sell $30,000 to various restaurants around the DMV. 
So I don't appreciate it and I don't think it's fair that we get criticized for not doing research or not going to a lot of restaurants in DC or the DMV area. I've noticed how the media has been pushing since we've been here. A lot of media outlets pick up on the fact that I said restaurants out here, in my opinion, tend to lean towards promoting alcohol more than they promote food. That's the headlines more than us being in an actual city and being blessed enough to touch the people that we touch. We ran to a lot of people that was extremely nice. We even went to a comedy show randomly, but that's another reason why I'm keeping most of those videos to protect the restaurant owners because it's not gonna be constructive and it's just gonna be them getting tore down and I don't want that. Past those 12 videos, I still got about six or seven and I'm gonna be releasing those throughout the next couple of days. I appreciate y'all. God bless you, have an amazing day, I'll be safe. Well, after that, people decided okay. to start questioning Keith Lee. Like, you don't have any culinary background, so why are we listening to you? One person. You ain't gotta listen to him. This is what he choosing to do. This people. I, I hate everybody. He is not claiming to be no food expert, and if you don't want to follow him, then don't. But making this comment that oh well what do you know just because he doesn't like the food in your city i feel like it's goofy because if it was the opposite and he loved it you wouldn't be saying that you would be like see yeah we got the best food so shut up i said y'all really be letting a man with no culinary background tell y'all about food someone else said it's I his opinion his force a blank expression i don't know who made him viral for real lol and then another user said i don't know i've been over him and his finger since the bet awards the rose drop was so overly dramatic <laughs> I hate people like that. So a lot of people in the comment section were defending Keith Lee and were taking his side. One Good. person said, how y'all saying you have to have a culinary degree to review? Exactly. Make it make sense. Food. But the first thing y'all do is check, yep, Google reviews. Exactly. A slow, Very LL. slow. Someone else then says, now if he did videos on the restaurants with terrible service and food, folks would swear he was tearing down businesses. He did right by simply not posting their content. Which I agree with these two comments. Like, if he would have posted a bad review on one of them restaurants or some of the restaurants, they wouldn't have got no business. They would have talked down on Keith Lee. And just like the other comment, a lot of people go to Google and Yelp to look up reviews. That's basically what he's doing. Then someone else said, yeah, the same man with no culinary background also have saved multiple black-owned businesses from going out of business and tips them thousands of dollars each visit. I kind of hmm. agree with Keith Lee. I mean, the pictures that he showed of that food did not look desirable. Yeah. I wouldn't want to eat it. I wouldn't want to pay my money for it. I would feel like I simply wasted my money. But you guys let me know your... I don't think Keith is wrong at all in this situation. People are just sensitive. They're just mad because he don't like the food in, in the city. If he don't like it, he don't like it. It's his opinion. It's his own taste and his family's opinion. And I honestly would prefer if he posted the food that he doesn't like as well. And sure, it'll, you know, mess up their business to a certain degree. But it should push them to do better and be better. Because I don't only want to see you post positivity. I want to know what to look out for. I want to know the, the restaurants that are not doing the best and not giving the best food. So I don't just pull up and, and eat there, you know? So I, I don't agree with just only showing, you know, the, the positive reviews. I don't think that makes much sense. Uh, but sure, people are always going to be pressed. This happens every city he goes to, though. It's always a problem when he doesn't like the food or the service. People will be, be so mad and their feelings are so goofy. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!